Testo 557S. So this is the app, and as you can see, it says 49.2. Now it says 49.1, 49. So why is the pressure falling? There's no leak. So it's filled up with R134 that I filled the gauge set up with last night, but that's a rapid falling pressure for no leak. Why is the pressure falling? Let's look in a freezer. Okay, so there's the pressure, 48 PSI now and falling. So now, let's get it up here by the hot air. So this is the pressure test mode. So now you see it going back up. And no, I'm not filling it up. So for you guys in automotive, who like to think you could hook up a set of gauges and tell if the system is full or not, you could have a full system, you can have a half full system, or you could have one drop of liquid refrigerant and you would get the exact same pressure whether you had one drop of liquid refrigerant or 100 pounds of liquid refrigerant the pressure and temperature would show exactly the same and when you take your pressure of a car that came into your automotive shop for a recharge and it was 68 degrees outside you would have a riff and the car was not running it was sitting overnight and as 68 degrees you would have a pressure close to 68 degrees and if it was 115 degrees you would have a pressure about 120 degrees or so uh, 120 psi and uh, so pressure and temperature have a relationship and this is the pressure leak test so this is why you would not do a pressure test using refrigerant because as you can see where the black line was that is where I started when I started this it was at like 79 psi 77 uh, 77.6 psi that's where I started at I'm currently at 53 so it dropped right now it has dropped 24 psi so if you were performing a pressure test with refrigerant inside your gauges and the temperature went down, you would think there's a leak, but there's no leak. So do not try to do pressure tests, standing duration pressure tests, with any kind of refrigerant. Dry nitrogen only, that's it.